Hi, this is Brad Sage with Sage Real Estate, and today I'm going to talk to you about DocuSign Transaction Rooms, also known as DTR. At Sage, we decided to adopt DocuSign eSignature and DocuSign Transaction Rooms to help us as a brokerage and our agents go paperless. Now, the first thing you really need to know about DocuSign Transaction Rooms is that it is a completely separate product than DocuSign eSignature. Yes, they work hand in hand and they integrate with one another, but in order to get your mind around how these two products uh, do work, you just need to realize that they are two separate products with different URLs that you go to uh, in order to uh, sign into your accounts, and they're two segregated accounts until you link them together. In order to use DocuSign Transaction Rooms, your broker first has to add you through their admin panel to the parent account. Once they've done that, you as an agent will receive an email that looks something along these lines, just notifying you that you've been added as an agent and asking you uh, to click through in order to finish setting up your account. Uh, so when you receive that email, just click on the button and follow the different prompts uh, that will show up. And I'm going to log in as Nick for this tutorial. You want to go to my account and tweak some of the settings in your account. The first setting that you want to adjust is your DocuSign eSignature setting. All you need to do is enter your DocuSign eSignature email address as well as your DocuSign password in order to link your eSignature account with your DTR account. And what this will now allow you to do is send envelopes and documents out for signature directly from your DocuSign uh, uh, transaction room account. The next thing you want to do is go to Inbox Details and edit the email address that DocuSign has set up for you so that it's something nice and easy to remember. As you can see here, Nick kept it nick.humphreys at mail.docusign.net. And what this email address allows you to do is email documents directly into your DTR account. And we'll be going into a lot more detail into how to get documents into your DTR account uh, later on in this tutorial. The next thing you want to do is go to notifications uh, and you're going to want to edit your different notifications because once you start using DTR and once your office starts using DTR, uh, there's going to be a lot of emails that start uh, coming in letting you know what's going on with the different documents uh, within your account and it can get a little overwhelming. So just be sure to, uh, once you've uh, started uh, getting used to the tool, come in here and edit uh, which notifications you receive uh, to which one of your uh, devices. Okay, now we're going to go uh, and set up uh, a test transaction so you can see exactly what that looks like. And in order to add a new transaction to your account, you just go to the top uh, navigation bar here and click on transactions. And as you can see, there's already two ongoing transactions uh, that we've been using as uh, uh, test uh, samples. Uh, so if you click on the button right up here under new, it's going to ask you for the address uh, of uh, uh, the transaction. So in this case, let's just do one, two, three, four, test street, test street, uh, city Toronto. And unfortunately, it does require these fields uh, in order to uh, set it up. So make sure that you have uh, the postal code of your property uh, handy. And in this case, we are the uh, real estate agent for the buy side, uh, and then also upload a property photo uh, to uh, uh, the transaction. And what this really will help you do uh, when you start getting a lot of transactions in your account is uh, easily scroll through and find the, the transaction room uh, that you're trying to find. Uh, so then once you've done that, click uh, create. Now we've set up the basic uh, transaction room uh, for this uh, particular uh, deal. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to the Actions button and attach a task list. Now at Sage, we have uh, already loaded into the DTR account all the different task lists associated with all the different kind of deals that our agents do. And really the task list is just a list of the required paperwork in order for our office uh, to uh, process uh, the transaction. So in this case, uh, we're doing a buy deal, so let's just keep it simple, residential condo. Uh, you click that, uh, click attach, uh, and then now what's gonna show up is all the different uh, uh, pieces of paperwork that are required in order for the office 
uh, to process the deal. The next trick is getting the documents that uh, uh, you need into your transaction room. And there's really a couple of ways to do that. The easiest way is uh, you complete the transaction uh, using uh, uh, DocuSign eSignature. Uh, you download the documents once they've all been completed uh, onto your computer, and then you click Upload Documents here and find the file where you save those uh, documents uh, and select the ones uh, that you're wanting to uh, upload uh, into the transaction room. Click Open. Uh, and then they will get uh, loaded. So once the document is in the transaction room, you can now associate it with the different required paperwork uh, for this transaction to actually be uh, uh, processed. And you do that by simply just grabbing it, dragging it, uh, and dropping it. Uh, and then once you have all the paperwork that's uh, required, uh, you go to Actions again, and then you submit the transaction. So what you're doing here is you're telling Gabby in our, uh, our deal admin that all the paperwork uh, is completed for this particular uh, transaction and it's ready uh, for her review. Uh, so then you go property sold uh, and then you click submit. But as you can see, because we only have one of the required documents loaded into our transaction room, it won't even let us uh, submit that uh, transaction uh, for review. Uh, so once all the paperwork's there, then you submit it, Gabby goes through it, makes sure everything is uh, uh, looking good, uh, and then uh, she takes uh, the next steps. Now, the other way that you can get documents into this uh, transaction room is you can email the documents to that email address that I told you about uh, before. Uh, and if you put this ID here, uh, which is the ID of this particular transaction, in the subject line, then DocuSign uh, transaction room will know that those anything that's attached to that email uh, is uh, related to this transaction and will automatically make those documents available uh, down here. Uh, so again, uh, you go to that email address uh, that you set up, nick.humphreys at mail.docusign.net. You attach all the different PDFs uh, uh, for that particular transaction. Uh, and then in the subject line of uh, your email, you include the uh, transaction uh, ID uh, and then all the uh, paperwork that you've attached to that email will uh, automatically show up uh, in the document section for that uh, particular transaction. Now the other beautiful thing with uh, transaction rooms is you can invite different people to view uh, download uh, the documents right from the transaction uh, room. Uh, and you do that by going to the People's uh, button uh, and then click Add. Uh, so for instance, uh, if you want to add your client, you want to add the lawyer on the deal, you would simply, uh, if they're not already part of your network, click Invite uh, via email, put in their name, put in their email address, put in uh, their uh, role, uh, and then uh, invite them. So then once they've been uh, uh, invited and once they've accepted that invitation, uh, they're not going to by default be able to see any of the documents. So now what you need to do is go to uh, the person's uh, profile that's been set up, uh, you click on it, uh, and then you select uh, access. Uh, so then this allows you to select what documents they can or cannot see uh, within your uh, transaction uh, room. Uh, so there are certain things that your clients need to be able to see, and there are certain things that your lawyer needs to be able to see, uh, but they don't necessarily need to see uh, everything, so it could just get uh, very overwhelming uh, for them. Another nice feature of DTR is this My Documents uh, section. Now, if you have different uh, documents that uh, you need uh, easy access to, you can create a new folder. So let's say your uh, schedule schedule uh, B, uh, create that folder and then upload uh, your uh, schedule B uh, PDF uh, to this uh, folder. Uh, and what this will do is uh, give you access to that file uh, wherever you are because uh, everything's going to be saved up into the cloud. Now the other thing that we've done uh, at Sage is we've had them add this shared uh, folder uh, button. Uh, and as you can see, we've loaded all of the standard uh, forms uh, from web forms uh, 
uh, from ARIA into these uh, files. So again, uh, we just uh, want to make things uh, as easy as possible uh, for you guys. Uh, so we've just made them uh, available. Uh, likelihood of you actually uh, uh, going in here in order to download uh, the different agreements is uh, slim, but it's just one of those things that's nice to have uh, access to just in case. And we've also created a listing marketing forums uh, folder so that you can download your uh, the marketing forums uh, as well as uh, all the different uh, sage uh, clauses uh, in the clause book. Uh, so again, you might not use these uh, on a regular basis, but when you're in a, a pinch uh, and you need uh, a blank uh, form uh, that uh, you just don't have uh, saved on your computer, uh, this is uh, a good place that you can go in order to uh, get it. Now there's one feature of DTR that we're not going to get into today because it's a bit more of an advanced feature and we'll cover off in a future training session, and that's the ability to send the paperwork directly from your DTR account uh, to your clients uh, for uh, e-signature. Uh, and just so that you know it's uh, here, I'll show you where it is, and that's under the envelopes. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, we're just uh, going to skip over this uh, today, and we'll get into this uh, more at uh, a later date. We hope you found this introduction to DocuSign Transaction Rooms helpful, and we will be rolling out some additional tutorials on some of the more advanced features in the coming days and weeks. Thank you very much.